For so many years, California has been at the forefront of innovations when it comes to transportation. It is clear from the timeless charm of the Pacific Coast Highway and the modern urban transit system that the state currently has. Even though they have a great transportation system, they still face challenges like traffic congestion, pollution, and safety issues. As a way to solve these issues, they introduced robo-taxis. The state implemented early legislation that established comprehensive frameworks that guide the testing of this new, innovative solution to their unending transportation issues. What are robo-taxis? What are the challenges? How will this impact the state of California? A robo-taxi is a self-driving car that doesn't need a human to drive it. You can book a ride in it just like you would with a regular taxi. The California Utilities Commission has given permits to companies like Waymo and Cruz to build robo-taxis. Waymo has reached a significant milestone by providing fully autonomous robo-taxi rides to its employees in San Francisco. Building on its existing permits and approvals from the California Utilities, the company is now extending this service to downtown Phoenix. These rides have been widely successful due to the flawlessly engineered Jaguar I-Pace, which completed the journey without needing a human driver's assistance. The co-CEO of Waymo, Takedra Mawakana, praised this big accomplishment. She pointed out how important the suggestions and experiences of their trusted testers and riders have been. This expansion builds on Waymo's already notable presence in Phoenix, where autonomous rides have been provided since 2020. The company has lots of experience from actual driving on real roads, and they've also done billions of miles of practice in computer simulations. This makes them really confident that many people will be using self-driving ride services in the future. Cruise, another company in the robo-taxi business, is also making big moves. Their co-founder, Kyle Vaught, had a special ride in a completely self-driving car in November 2021. This happened just a month after Cruise got approval to start charging for these innovative driverless rides. The government of California is fully behind these impressive innovations, and very soon, they will become the norm in the state. The design of these autonomous vehicles, commonly called AVs, is very accommodating to safety, adaptability, and the overall user experience. They have sensors and LIDARs and are built with avant-garde AI algorithms that make them navigate complex routes, like difficult intersections and small roads in the suburbs. The robo-taxis being all electric is in line with the global shift towards sustainability and reduces urban pollution. One interesting thing about the design of these robo-taxis is that they can adapt and learn from every ride they take. This allows them to continuously refine their algorithms to ensure optimal passenger safety and comfort. The robo-taxis promise some very big advantages, some of which include a few road accidents, less expensive rides through cutting out driver costs, and cleaner urban air when using electric vehicles. Cruise and Waymo can now drive their autonomous vehicles on San Francisco streets 24-7 as California has approved these firms for round-the-clock accessibility of their self-driving cars on the streets of San Francisco. Some people argue that robo-taxis may help solve at least some age-old city issues like street safety and cheap transport. They say robo-taxis can create livable towns, build safe streets, and design affordable transport ecospheres. Robotaxis and Automatic Roadside Highway ARH, services should be expected to reduce road accidents, lower transport costs, and save the environment in a big way. Supporters point out how using Uber or Lyft has reduced instances of crashes and are hopeful that AV may attain much more progress toward the end. Such people imagine a future in which there are fewer private cars and that an increasing number of people view themselves as people who would enjoy self-driving cars. To them, planning will be the core of the success of AVs working effectively in the city. They opine that the government must ensure that AVs operate effectively on city's roads. Designated zones should be created where people will have accessibility, special pricing techniques, and some space. 
Furthermore, they contend that states and the federal governments need to create regulations to enhance safety for AVs. People also believe that AVs could reshape the concept of car ownership. If AVs are affordable to share, people may be discouraged from purchasing a vehicle. This would create more space for other modes of transportation and, as a result, reduce the number of cars in the city. Nevertheless, there are some people who are against robo-taxis. For example, Safe Street Rebel and other city planner organizations are concerned about how these changes will affect the city. They argue that autonomous vehicles might exacerbate existing urban challenges rather than alleviate them. This discourse has even caught the attention of notable figures like San Francisco City Attorney David Chu. Many critics contend that automobiles don't belong in cities, even when they are computer-driven. AVs only cause new worries without alleviating existing ones, in their opinion. These include cases of failing to give way at pedestrian crossings, causing obstructions on crossings, and improper parking. AVs appear to be having similar issues to those that other companies have been grappling with all along. A very big issue is safety. Some motorists have reported that AV companies' vehicles behave oddly by stopping abruptly and moving jerkily, similar to cruise incidents in San Francisco. Moreover, the numbers cannot always be trusted when it comes to safety. Sometimes the numbers do not agree that these vehicles are safer than normal human drivers. Cars occupy large spaces in cities, even when parked. Others contend that bike lanes, sidewalks, and improved public transportation in cities would better utilize such spaces. These other, more efficient forms of transport are also competing with AVs, and they worry that their popularity will reduce if AVs gain high acceptance rates. The environment is another concern. The batteries for electric robo-taxis may cause pollution from their tires and the brakes, which may affect the environment negatively. Some critics are also of the opinion that AVs wouldn't be cheaper. However, it's only a promise, and although they claim that by omitting drivers and the related costs, they'll provide these services at more affordable rates. The truth is that the startup costs are similar to those of conventional carpooling platforms. Additionally, a lot of critics argue that if AVs become cheap and easily accessible, there would not be much demand for public transport. This might be injurious to public transport services and, more so, surveillance. Even technicians who appreciate the technology argue that we should pause before releasing the AVs on our streets. The success of California's RoboTaxi initiative has an impact on the global scale. Various other cities in the world, even metropolitan towns such as New York and Paris, face the same transportation difficulties that California is trying to cure with robotaxis. As the urban population rises and the infrastructure becomes old, if successful, autonomous cars can certainly become an indispensable part of a city. Therefore, as these vehicles become more sophisticated, they serve as a reference point for other cities seeking sustainable and efficient mobility systems. Even though robo-taxis are fascinating technology, their economic impact is also considerable. Autonomous robots can save up to $16 billion by 2030. Eliminating driver compensation might enable rides at prices that are almost half of what similar options with real drivers charge. Nevertheless, the financial scene presents difficulties. Rising costs, regulatory issues, and public opinion may all have an impact on the direction that robo-taxis will take in cities. Do you think robo-taxis is the solution to the transportation challenges that California is facing? Would this innovation do more harm than good? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.